hello guys spider is back with another video so guys forgive me from the last few days i have not uploaded any video so currently my exam is running so that's why it's delaying so now this video is based on a wikipedia app which is built in python so let's see the demo first after that i will give you the way how you can make your own wikipedia app using python so let's get started so this is the GUI of our Wikipedia app. Uh, so just now we have to enter the keyword. Uh, so the when you enter the keyword, so it will search from the Wikipedia about that word and it will give you give you the information. Not a full information, but it will give us some of the information around uh, 10 to 15 lines. So let's see it. So just uh, just I'm searching about machine learning. And now we have to just click on the this uh, magnifying glass button, search button means. So now it will search about machine learning from the Wikipedia and it will extract the information. So now you can see our information is extracted. So much about my machine learning, you can see the all the data is extracted. So this is the simple app. So let's see about uh, some another thing. So uh, instead of machine learning, so just now I'm doing about some celebrities. So just I'm searching about SRK. So SRK means Shah Rukh Khan. So it will give you all the info about info from the Shah Rukh Khan from the Wikipedia. So I think it did not uh, recognize the word because I have not uh, written the full. So the thing is that you have to write the full word like uh, Salman Khan and then just click on the search so it will get the information about salman khan from the wikipedia and extract this information here so you can see all the information of salman khan is here even now this is the button of a copy text so if i click on the copy text button then it will copy the info of the all of the details uh, into our clipboard now i can paste it here also so you can see our copy information is pasted here uh, this clear button will clear all the screen and all the word. So let's see how it's working. So just uh, thinking about first, uh, let we see the de designing part of the word application. So this application is uh, developed by uh, using uh, Tikinter. So you can see I have imported PIL library PIL just for the image operation which uh, images I have used in our application. Now another library is Tikinter. Tikinter is built for our GUI development. After that I have used Wikipedia. Uh, Wikipedia is an API from uh, Wikipedia which will allow us to get the information from the Wikipedia server. So actually it's doing nothing. It's just uh, doing web scraping of the information with the keyword uh, which we have entered. Another is the input clipboard. Clipboard is used for just for a copy pasting. So now it's time for the development of the GUI. So you can see there is a window. Window is equal to TK. So it will initialize our window screen here. After that, windows.configure, I have set background is equal to white. It means our screen background will be set as the white color. Then windows.title. So I have written uh, Wikipedia app. So here you will see Wikipedia app as a title. After that, I have a set uh, one uh, basic size of our application. I don't want a full screen size. So just uh, even I cannot minimize and maximize this application. So this is the reason I will describe Windows dot resizable zero zero. That's why. So now forget about the backend and just focus on the GUI. So here I have used uh, uh, icon of the Wikipedia which is available in this. Uh, you can see this is the icon. So I am opening this icon with our PIL and uh, then after that opening I am resizing it. After that now I need to open the this uh, photo in photo image. Photo image will load the uh, photo. After that I am placing this photo in our label. Label is a controller of uh, one kind of widget stick inter. After that I have position is uh, set the position x is equal to 20 and y is equal to 100. So you can see our logo is placed here. After that I have placed a search button. So I have downloaded one search dot png from here. After that I have resized that png once again doing the same thing. 
open the photo and now instead of the label i have placed uh, this thing as a button because uh, uh, this is the button this is not a label because it has some activity so that's why i have cho choose a button here now there is a one simple label i have used wikipedia app which you can see here so just width is equal to 30 height is equal to 2 foreground white fg is equal to black fg means uh, color of the background and font foreground color means your font color after that i have put once another label you can see enter your keyword this is the label so this all just uh, you can improve your gui by yourself you can do more in gui this is a simple gui which i made after that i need to use a uh, one entry box here you can see this is the entry box because i need to get the value from the get the string or get a keyword from the user that's why i need to uh, place uh, here one text entry box the entry box is placed uh, now here i stay uh, set a border width is equal to 7 so you can see this is the border of our entry box is bigger and darker because i have set it 0 and now i placed here x and y position and at, at uh, end of the just i describe windows dot main loop so just uh, think uh, our gui development is complete so now we think we need to think about the back end so just focus on the back end now what is our first priority so now if i enter some keyword here like machine learning okay so now i need to get this keyword and send it to our wikipedia api so here i made a one function now query is equal to txt dot get txt2 is our entry box so there is a method called get uh, get method directly send the text which is we we written in our text box so now i have imported wikipedia wikipedia is external api so you need to install wikipedia library first so just go to your cmd and use command pip install wikipedia after that there is a method called summary summary will return all the words and all the info of the query so now query query is what query is the information which is entered by user so now our uh, when user write like machine learning so it will get the machine learning from here and send a machine uh, send machine learning here so wikipedia will search about machine learning from all their server and store our the information related to machine learning in this result folder okay now when the now there is a one another controller which is not you can see here which is a uh, text box uh, not a text box it is a text which is useful for an address field which is a bigger than text so now i have placed a text here because when i click on search button okay so this is the search function this is uh, just i have called in this button you can see command is equal to i have written search here because when i click on this button this search function will call so when i call this button this uh, t dot uh, text will available so i have created one text entry a uh, text entry means you can see this is one text entry which is cannot be editable so i have placed uh, in this function because i don't want uh, this from the first when user just uh, want to run the application but when user search the application then this textbook should be available so i placed it here so i have mentioned t dot configure state is equal to normal and then i have insert the text means t dot insert and then result ticket dot end here i mentioned ticket dot end ticket dot end means it uh, start from the zero and it end from uh, it end when previously previous character is ended so if i write a kushal so now my case ended now you started from what now you will start from the where when k is end now same is with s s start from the where you end so that's why our information should be in proper manner that's why i used t dot insert ticket dot end and result so now result will display in this box now 
uh, user don't need to change this information because user can change this information. So here I do what I did here. T dot configure is equal to state is equal to disable. So user cannot change this data. You can see I cannot change this data. Okay. So now now is our main task is completed. Now this time to do add the some more functionality like copy button. So once again I have placed this uh, button here copy dot text and there is a one button clear clear button. So our main function is completed. Now if I got the some error then it will handle while label. You can see something went wrong. If uh, like there is a one error or anything else then GUI will show there is a something went wrong kind of error. Now error message should be uh, dis destroy after some second. So I have created one function destroy widget and we using windows dot after I have called this function. So after five second my this button will be uh, goes like if I enter some wrong keyword which is not available on the Wikipedia. So let's see I will I will get there something went wrong but after five second this label will be destroyed. So you can see our label is destroyed. So the, this is the reason I have entered this code here. Okay. So now our searching is complete. So now there are two more tasks is pending. There is a one copy text which copy which can copy this all text and there is a clear which will clear all the data and all the text box from here. So first let's say about copy. So now once again I have make one another function def is equal to copy underscore text. Now there is a one library or we can say there is a one inbuilt uh, not inbuilt just you have to do pip install clipboard and clipboard dot copy will automatically copy the result the result is what result is our variable where our result of the information is stored. So when this function will this function is called. Uh, our data will be copied to our clipboard using this copy method. Now we need to just uh, place one information or one message to the user text is copied to clipboard. So I have placed one label here. After that I have used a windows dot uh, after method. So windows dot after method uh, just destroy the button. Okay so let's see once again demo of this. So just I am using Salman Khan. Just wait for the fetch. So after five seconds, this uh, label will be destroyed, which is text copy to clipboard. So you can see the label is available, text copy to clipboard. So now it is destroyed because of this code. Now our application is going to complete. Now there is a only one button, which is a clear. So clear button does nothing. It will clear this entry box and this uh, text box. I uh, mean this text entry box. Uh, then these two button also this copy text button and clear button also. So txt dot two dot delete txt two is our entry box. So it will delete the all the data from the entry box. You can see when I click on this button. So this entry box is deleted. Then uh, this uh, address uh, this uh, text area is deleted. Then fm means our copy button is deleted and our clear button is deleted because I have called a destroyed function. So guys this all then our code is completed. So it takes uh, around uh, 30 or 35 minutes to develop this application. So you can develop this easily. So just if you want to the code then just go to the my github application. But I am not placing my code uh, link in the description because most of the people skip the videos and copy the code without understanding the thing. So this is the code. You can see here I have not a uh, proper documentation because I forget to do it. So I will make the proper documentation. I think when you open the link then you will be get the proper documentation. So that's for all the today video. I hope you will get and if you did not uh, understand anything then just comment down or you can directly uh, just contact me on the my Instagram community and one important thing. I have made a one guideline sheet related to the Python machine learning means how you can start machine learning and all these things. So I have made one cheat sheet type uh, 
PDF. So if you want to purchase this uh, PDF, then link in the bio. Click on uh, sorry, not in bio. Uh, link in description. So go to that link and we you can buy the shit from there. So don't forget to like this video and just subscribe to our machine learning hub channel. So once again, I am telling you open if you have not visited my channel then just visit my channel i have a number of playlists available related to deep learning open cv computer vision so just subscribe the channel here where here one kind of red button will available so just subscribe like and share this video don't forget to subscribe until that keep coding so see you in the next one so thanks for the listening me